What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle, where I just got, well, I was gonna play chess, but they were like, no, your opponent's corrupted, and so, I fingered an anemone or whatever the hell, and then we also have a kitty bot. Kitty bot, he's with us. And so, where did kitty bot go? Kitty bot, there you are. Kitty bot, come with me. Stick with me, kitty bot. You are like my security binky right now. Wait, that says theta right there. That says theta. It says, walk through this gateway to go. Zeppelin transport. There's zeppelins? I'm, I'm gonna point this out real fast, but we're underwater. How exactly does a zeppelin function underwater? I would assume that increasing pressures would be a major issue. I don't think there's gonna be a zeppelin. Kitty bot, do you know anything that I don't? Kitty bot's like, I'm out of here. I already know what's going on. Meteors. Weird little tumory guys that kill you with laser eyes that aren't even laser. Oh shit, there's a dead guy over here. Is he alive? Dude, he's totally alive. Hey man. I've got a kitty bot. You wanna you wanna I mean you can't pet him because you don't have arms. I guess you could foot him a little bit if you wanted to. My cats don't like being petted with a foot though. No, not at all. They hate that. Sorry, pal. I wish that I could be some kind of assistance. Like you want me to bludge you? I can hit you with something until you're not in pain anymore, although you're not screaming or whatever. I'm sure you're fine. It's probably just like sitting in a big old bowl of warm jello or something. Bill Cosby rubbing your shoulders. <laughs> Do you like the jello pudding? Let's see here. We got a thing over here. What does this do? Greetings, random crazy bot. I'm just don't mind me. So, what does this do for me? Looks like I can change the channels, and it looks like I can rotate some kind of array. So, what have I accomplished here? So that link is established. What if I go all the way over to here? So there's a link established. I'm gonna come back. I'm not sure what that's useful for right now. And it may not even be useful. It might just be something they put in here for you to fiddle with. Intern project. Kitty bot, no! Damn it, kitty bot. Whenever I'm in, you're out. Whenever I'm out, you're in. Make up your mind, kitty bot. Make up well this door right now, kitty bot. I demand it. This would be really cross. It'd be bad. Oh Jesus! Ew! There's magots. Look me in my eye. Look me in my eye. Tell me what you see, Javier. Hmm. Uh. The light is burning my eyes. Something they're telling me. I don't need this something vitri something flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I don't need something flesh inside my skull to see salvation. I will gladly remove them. Stop them from obfuscating the Diane vision. See, nobody wants Diane vision. You get Diane vision, you're totally hosed. So my guess is that somebody got stuck in here and that was that. Played solitaire for a while. Took some drugs. Anybody want to do some Alloprex? Huh? My reflection is the black something. Black blood of the warden whispers. I need to save them from this hell. Let them sleep. Lock them in lucid dreams I've seen. Huh. This one's all bloody. And it makes squish noises. Yeah! Trigger the squish! They call me Trigger Squish. See? There's your username right there. Not bad. Not bad, Trigger Squish. I would go for it if I was playing Destiny. 
It's exciting to watch the WoW claim Delta. Half a year ago, I'd be worried. I'd have Goya and Wen clean the black blood from the machinery. Now its crusty surfaces seem to complement, even outshine what Delta was. Okay, so we've got some kind of like weird cultists that have just like taken over worshipping the WoW now. But like, oh great and wonderful WoW! Oh, my opponent is still corrupt. Can't play no games of chess. That would suck. Can you imagine getting trapped in here and just like waiting to starve to death or for you know, to run out of oxygen? Jesus, that would suck. I might hang myself before I got that. I mean, there's not a whole lot of things to hang yourself from. Maybe if you like lay down on the ground and then pull the locker over on your face enough times. Is this unpluggable? No, it's not unpluggable. Alright, back out we go to Kittybot. It's okay. I want her to hang out with Kittybot more today anyways because Kittybot is the shit. Everybody loves Artie. Who doesn't love Artie? He's my favorite so far. I suppose we have to decide whether it's a boy or a girl. Kittybot, you waited! Wow, you were like 90% more faithful than my cat. My cat would be like, well, he's gone. Let's go ahead and chew on his face for a little while. Maybe eat his nose off. Um, where do I want to go? As long as I've got Kittybot with me, I feel remarkably confident about this whole thing. Especially since I know he has like a laser gat on the front of me. I'm like, bacow, bacow. Anybody tries to mess with me, I'm like, Kittybot, get him! Kittybot, use quick attack! Meow. So what happens if I just walk off into the middle of nowhere this way? Oh, we hit like the continental shelf thing? Okay, never mind. An abyssal trench? I'm gonna keep on running because it seems like it's good for my cardio. Maybe it'll keep me more human than everybody else. Oh, there's more kitty bots. Now I have two kitty bots. Greetings, other kitty bot. Would you like to hang out with me? Oh, kitty bot is unenthused. He doesn't like my shenanigans, my puppetry. He is not a fan. He's like, yeah, well, you're holding the severed head. I mean, granted, that's all we are as a head, but you're holding the severed head of one of my compatriots here. What does this do? Can I go up this? Oh, I can. Oh, look, it did a thing. So we're at an auxiliary station. Unfortunately, it doesn't say what our facing is, but we should be able to figure it out if it's that close to the continental edge and then just walk in the opposite direction until we hit HQ, right? I bet we were in one of these little buildings right here when the guy ripped his eyes out. Okay. Let's give it a go. Sounds good to me. So I'm going to assume... Where is the shelf at? The shelf's probably out this way. That crab right there looks very, very violent. What they should have done, it would have been dope if they had programmed the crabs to go into their fighting posture when they see you. Because that's what crabs do. They're like... Argh! They stick their hands up and they get all gangster. Okay, so yeah, that's the shelf direction, which means that this is going to be inwards. So if we just go this way long enough, everything's going to be fine. I mean, nothing's going to go wrong here. We won't have wasted 10 minutes of an entire episode just trying to figure out... It seems like I alternate between instantaneous horror and dying and playing poorly and then just wandering around for a while. Okay, so we've been over here. Kittybot, stand with me. Let us be together forever. That control room right there is the opposite of the one that we already went into. I see a dead guy in there. There's a dead guy. Anybody want to go see a dead guy? Let's go look at the dead guy. Oh, that shit ain't going to open. Okay, so we got to go in this way then. That's how we get to the little landy thing. Okay, so there's the save point or the healing thing. And if we keep going this way, it seems plausible. We need like a landing pad or something. Landing pad's right there. We've already been over there though. Was there anything that I didn't properly utilize in here? Oh, there's a door. It goes to a bathroom, so. Ah, how you doing? Ah, you know. Life shit. 
I. Uh, this is like a ladder around here somewhere. I don't think we're going anywhere. That appears to just stay on. I wonder if that like, has something to do with that little radar array over here. That's not pushable. I just wanted to look and make sure. So the dead guy that's attached to the walls over here, this is the Theta landing pad that should take us somewhere. However, it appears as though tentacles have taken over this as well. Also, this guy. That guy is having such a worse day than that guy over there. Like, I thought that guy was having a shitty day until I saw this guy. Like, damn. Well. Our options appear to be limited. What does this do? Are there zeppelins? Can't establish link. Can't establish link. Oh, maybe this is why I needed the radio thingy. <laughs> Strasky, we can see the Zeppelin now. Good. Sorry about the mess. Without the positioning system, the Zeps just keep losing their set routes. Voltec did say that you could have fixed it on your side by rejigging the antenna. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter now. Are, are all of you coming? No, just me, Goy, and Creer. Anchors is set up being a stubborn old man. All right. <laughs> uh, see you soon, Brandon. Happy e back. Peter, can you hear me? Uh, I hear you, Terry. Uh, I mean, Mr. Akers, sir. I've changed my mind. I would like to come to Theta. Let Delta sleep. Of course. Oh, wow. Uh, honestly, didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, such a long time since you checked in. Uh, we have a few divers in a Zeppelin surveying Lambda at the moment. I'll just make sure they pick you up when they're done. Uh, thank you for the warning. I'll make sure they feel welcome. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. See you when you get here. <laughs> Awkward conversations with your boss. So my assumption here then is that where's the little antenna array? I think we gotta aim it. And so now it all makes sense in retrospect. It's just one thing at a time. Okay, so the radar array is over here. So let's say that we take this. Okay, so the link is established. Now we go back over to this side, and if this works the way I think it's going to work, we had to set up the radar, the sonar, whatever the hell it is. Ah. Okay, so it appears as though this little guy is down. Okay, so let's try one of the other links then. Hey, what's going on, Crab? I don't have time for you right now. No time! There's no time, Crab! There's no time! Okay, so 049, let's try him now. Or was 049 the one we just did? I didn't realize they had number designations. Now I know. We were talking to 840 before. 049. Transport active. Unspecified cargo. Hey, we got it. Hooray. It's on its way. Gotta get ready. All right, LaserBot, I want you to take cover behind those crates right there. I need you on Overwatch. I'm going to need you to cover me when I go in, okay? I don't have a gun, so LaserBot, I need you. Laser... Artie! That's definitely a Zeppelin. I need you on this, man. Overwatch. Right there. Overwatch. Ah, uh, cats. This guy's just over here disintegrating. Stop disintegrating while I'm standing next to you. I got a piece of Terry on my wetsuit. I don't like this. I think I think it needs a stand clear warning. It's all fun and games till so somebody loses a toe. Like that guy's like, ah, I didn't heed the warning! <laughs> 
That's what happens, buddy. That's what happens. You gotta read the warnings. Ah! Calm down. We're safe. Oh, it's really disconcerting popping in and out of existence like that. Where are we now? Delta. At least that's what you said before the crash. Oh, right. Of course. Is this a Zeppelin? Appropriately named. You think it can get us to Theta? It's a cargo transport. They use them for moving materials between the sites, anything that's too big for the shuttles. I'm sure it can carry us. Ugh, why won't it work? Come on. Oh, the tool chip is bust. Isn't that part of the Omni tool? Look who's been paying attention. We have to deal with that back at Upsilon. Then you know how it works. We need to get a new tool chip and switch it. Care to point me in the direction of the closest tool chip storage? I think it would be easier to just take one from a robot. What? Just knock a robot over the head and steal their chips? The toolbox over there says it has a stun baton. You could use that. Come on. I don't want to hurt anyone. Isn't this a bit much? It's just a robot, Simon. We're just robots. Sort of. I'll get us a chip. Oh, we're about to go gangster, see? When all else fails. Oh, come to me, you sweet little vec. Guess I have no choice. Oh, we got a gat now. We got ten seconds to buck something. This is gonna be amazing. I don't wanna shoot Kitty Bot though. If you make me no. Alright, everybody, so I got the stun baton fixed. Turns out it's a bug. So what's supposed to happen is you get the stun baton, right? And when you aim it at stuff, the stun baton's supposed to come out. Our stun baton was not coming out previously. And so the developers may want to look into that bug because when I aimed at things, the stun baton would not come out. I wandered around for like 35 minutes thinking I was doing something wrong too. And I was like, oh my god, please work. I'm going to stun baton this guy because I, that robot over there has a laser and he wants to be my homie. So this robot over here. Am I right? Can't believe how much I'm sweating in this suit. I can't believe how much you're about to be sweating right now. He takes off running. I guess that is kind of a... That's a reasonable reaction when somebody jabs you in the ass with a taser. Run. Alright, hold on. One more. It's almost over. Oh. Man. This is taking a lot longer than I expected. Don't we need that? Oh, he crashes. Okay. So there we go. But yeah, if your gun doesn't come out when you point at stuff, you're going to have to reload a previous save. I hate to tell you, I reloaded a save right before, and it took me 25 minutes to figure it out, but we're good now. It better work. Either way, though, unfortunately, the second time I played it through, I didn't go inside, like, any of these other places and do any of this stuff. So part of me thinks it might be a wise idea to maybe go back through and just, like, click on all the stuff that I already clicked on, because I've heard that you can actually change the trajectory of the game and whatnot by... Not looking at things, but I don't know. We've got the tool chip, so that's really all that we needed for right now. Didn't this open before? I thought this opened before. Huh. Strange. I totally... That was the one that had the... Wasn't that the one that had the chest inside of it? Huh. Weird. Why is it locked now? I wonder if it randomly generates every time you play the game or like there are certain things that are different each time because I had to reload a previous save to get my stun gun to work and this time that door is locked where I'm pretty sure it slid open before. Hold on. Let's check with these back up in here. Real fast just to verify because before there was a station thingy over here and this one drained out and had the guy with the eyeballs, right? Okay, so that opens. I'm gonna test this out real fast because it's gonna bother me if I don't. I gotta figure out if things in this game are randomly generated or what's going on. Last time we were able to get through that door right there, so I'm a little bit confused as to where we're going with all this. Alright, come on, open the door. Okay. There we go. There's the eyeballs and all the other stuff. The chest is here, still has a corrupt. Com okay, so that's got a corrupt opponent. I'm just going to look at the things real fast so that if there was any triggers or anything like that that changed the storyline. We already looked at this stuff, but it'll be okay, I promise. Real, yeah, really weird bug, though. I don't know if any of the developers see this. You might want to fix it. I'm sure people will shout it out. This is pre-release anyways. So I'm pretty sure people will probably shout it out on the forums later and it'll get fixed like tomorrow when the game comes out. It'll be all good. Just saying, though, if your stun gun does not work, you got to reload your save to a previous state. Sorry. <laughs> 
Hate to tell you, but yep. I ran around forever just losing my mind being like, how do I use the stun gun? Turns out the game uses it all on its own. All you gotta do is point at stuff and it should work. That's really weird. Are there any windows? Because I'm like, yeah, this, what? Maybe it's because I summoned the lift and now this little guy won't come over and unweld it. Maybe that's what it was. It was welded shut before. Huh. Interesting things to note. Either way, can't be helped now. I think he's leaving us behind now that he noticed that we're a robo murderer. Like, yeah, I don't know if I want to hang out with you anymore. Everybody's got that friend. That guy. That acquaintance. Thanks, Simon. Don't be mad, okay? We really needed that chip. We we'd be stuck here. Could you do it? Kill a robot like that? I get attached to them too. I'm not a monster. But in this case, it had to be done. He was talking. I mean, he was delusional, but he seemed sincere, present. Yeah, well, I'm sure it's fine. Was he really that different from us? It's just beginning to sink in. I mean, really sink in. I'm a robot. Didn't we cover this already? I guess I've known ever since I woke up at Upsilon. I just keep suppressing it. Like my brain doesn't want me to think about it. It's really getting hard not to think about it. Yeah. Could you maybe hit that switch over there so we could get moving? Oh, yeah, sure. Susie sociopath over here. I don't trust her. I don't trust her for a second. She was way too nonchalant about all that robot murder. She also doesn't really seem to care about us. I mean, I wouldn't be that depressed if I was a robot. I'd be pretty stoked about it. I'd be like, wait, I'm finally a robot? Okay, so where's my murderizer attachment? Are we going? Hmm. Oh, we pushed the button. Yeah, there we go. Thanks. One would assume that you could just tailor all this action to just the handle, and then you wouldn't even need the button. I don't know, I'm thinking streamlining here. Making it all work better. Just, eh, pull the handle. Or even better, hook Siri up to this bitch and be like, Siri, fly Zeppelin. And I'm like, okay. I've been using, I got a microphone for my PlayStation 4 finally. And like, the speech feature is so dumb, but I use it all the time. That's my PlayStation. PlayStation, open Netflix. PlayStation, I can't walk across the room. PlayStation, open Netflix. PlayStation, increase volume. It's like talking shit. PlayStation, you are beautiful. I hope we don't go somewhere where there's more monsters. It would seem to me... How do we use a stun gun underwater? Hold on a minute. Stun gun, would it work better? I don't think it would. I think it would work worser really underneath the waters. Is. We got a slight delta detour, but we're back on track. Yeah. We should touch down on a cargo platform just outside Theta. Then we just head inside, grab the dun back, and head down the abyss. 4,000 meters. That's a long way. We don't have to worry, though, because with the Dunbat, the Ark could have been in the Mariana Trench. It'll hold for anything. That's great. And then we can start listening to other people when they talk, because that's how conversations work. What? Oh, sorry. I, I just can't stop thinking about what we've become. It's clear that we're no longer human. But then how can I feel like Simon? How can I feel like anything at all? I mean, technically, I don't have any ears, no mouth. Christ, that's a weird thing to think about. I mean, I'm making sounds. I'm still saying things. You sure are. <sighs> okay. Your new body most likely has senses similar to those you had as a human. And your mind, only knowing one way to perceive the world, superimposes that skill set on top of your new features. So my mind is covering it up, pretending nothing's different. If it didn't, you'd probably be incapable of interacting with the world at all. And the stress would either kill you or make you go insane. So I've found a good balance between awareness and ignorance. 
Does that mean I shouldn't think about this stuff, or are my thoughts actually making me cope? Could I tip the balance by suddenly gaining some insight and go insane? I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we have real things to deal with. Saving mankind, remember? Speaking of which, we're closing in on Theta. I'll eject the Omnitool. As always, don't forget to take me with you. Uh, Kath, before you go, the artificial intelligence you mentioned in the escape vessel? Uh-huh, yeah, the warden unit, the WoW. Is it the WoW's fault that we're like this? I mean, it seems like something an unreliable AI would do. I suppose it set the ball in motion, but it's not directed with purpose. <laughs> it's really complicated to explain how machines think, Simon. Concentrate on getting inside Theta, okay? See you soon. Mm hmm I bet she's the wow. I bet she's the wow right now. I'm calling it. This girl's the wow. Anyway, seems like a good enough spot to uh, take a breather for a little while. I've done enough bug bashing for the day. I will see you all later. Hi, do everybody. This is so much. Check it out. If you're having the stun gun problem, that's how you fix it. Bye, everybody.